Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and I'm back with another Trespasser Customs video. Today we're going to be looking at a level, or kind of a collection of small levels, by Mike the Raptor, who is, I guess, one of the overall admins of the Trescom site, so that's pretty cool. But this is a fairly neat idea. Essentially we have a hub area with teleports to various arenas. Now there's only two arenas right now, but there is a spot for a third one, so I'm not sure if this is going to be the final version of the map, or if he's going to put in another one later. But we're going to look at what we have now. So I think if I hit new game here, this should actually load in. Also, nice to see a custom intro, which is very rare for our Trespasser levels. Alright, so here's the hub. We're just kind of in this very reflective room. Oh, at first I thought we were in a void, but there actually is stars above. So yeah, we have these three pedestals. One of them is covered by a sheet. This is the one that's not actually finished yet. Or, I guess, I'm not even sure if there's one in development for this, or if this is just kind of a placeholder for if he comes up with a third map. So we have one with a raptor on it. And one with a spinosaur. So I think we were supposed to do the raptor first. Because I believe the other one will have a ending cutscene. But ideally, we pick this one... And if we complete it, it should teleport us back here, because each of these is a separate level. You know, they have their own level files. So they load in like this. Okay, uh, we are in the raptor pen from the first movie. And we just have to kill the raptors, because this is a purely combat-based series of levels. So we have this... Uh, decorative knife that I guess is our only option for killing these raptors. So, uh, maybe let's see if we can- oh, there's three of them. I thought there was only two. I think I missed him with the sharp bit. <laughs> Alright, and we get the Dark Souls death sound. Oh, cool. It actually teleports you back here even if you die. Fancy. I feel like you could do a lot with this concept for Trespasser. You know, instead of having one big elaborate map that takes forever to make, you could just have a hub level that connects to a couple of smaller levels. Like, yeah, it, it doesn't make, you know, it's not like linear logical sense, but you don't really need that for every Trespasser level. Sometimes it's okay for it just to be a video game and not a <laughs> real world location. Okay, do we have anything else in this arena to work with? Because this knife seems a little short. Also, like, I'm not seeing damage on the blade tip contact. Oh. So I'm not sure where the damage spot is for this thing. That also did not hurt him. Well, you know, worst comes to worse. Oh, shotgun. Worst comes to worse. Oh god, I'm getting pack hunted. There is rocks scattered around. <laughs> we know those are effective most of the time. I do like, too, that we have three distinct raptors here. I wonder if they all have the same stats, though, and they're actually just reskins. Because I don't know if anyone's ever done, like, multiple raptor models that are replacing, you know, like, a single tribe of raptors. Well, we have a couple of previous challengers there. So I think we only have the two weapons to work with. The knife might work, but let's... Thin the numbers. Oh, this is the, uh, this is not the vanilla boss. This is the Muldoon style. It's a little fancier looking, a little more polys added to it. Or I guess not polys, tries. Eight shots. But appropriate for the arena. Also, I just noticed there's a guy watching from up there. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. I 
I want to see if we can use this knife now that there's only one. Ah, oh, damn. Got right up behind me in a straight line. But while I do appreciate the maps that don't really focus on combat, I think that it's okay to have some maps like this that purely focus on combat. You know, like that Cursed Arena map. That was a cool map. Even though it was a little basic and very difficult at certain parts. Having to run around and pick up ammo. Now I have to use the knife, or this rock. I'm concerned that the white one might actually be a tribe C, which is why it killed me so quickly. Oh wait, this isn't the white one, this is the middle one. You should be alright then. Okay, these might be vanilla trespasser rocks, because they don't seem to be doing damage. But I also have to get a little distance to throw it. Yeah, that's not doing any damage. Which means it has no mass attributed to it. I'm curious if that knife is not actually coded to do damage properly, or it has a very, very specific damage tip. Because I want to do this, you know, without just shooting them. Use all of the tools provided. Okay, this one's stuck. We can experiment on him. Oh, well. Okay, it does do damage. It's like... The actual blade strip is the part that does damage. Ooh, that one killed me like one hit. Also, I kind of want to, kind of want to fly up there and check out who's standing up there. I think it's F11. I was just doing it in the previous video. I think it might be the Alan Grant model, but it might also just be a JPEG. Oh, it's one of the workers. So there's no, like, <laughs> don't get attacked while you're doing that. I think there is a no target of some kind, but I just wanted to see who was watching us. It's just like, well, somebody fell in the raptor pit again. I always thought that the raptor pit in the original movie seems a little, like, too densely jungly for its size. Wow. These boys are rough. Okay, let's just shoot him. Oh, I <laughs> think I've traveled the dimensions too many times. It's starting to lose coherency. Fine in here, though. Eight shots. Oh, boy. Turn it into a Beyblade. But I actually do have to find some way to kill this one, because I don't think... I don't think I'm going to have enough ammo to kill all of them, unless I don't miss a single shot. Oh no. <laughs> it is actually getting worse every time I load into this level. Pushing the limits of this concept. Eight shots. Okay, I think it's two headshots per raptor. Hmm. Okay, it didn't actually load us back. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to, but... We'll just check out the other arena now. And things are back to the way they're supposed to be. Okay, now for something a little bigger.
Okay, that's pretty great detail, having it <laughs> with the phone. So we got an aviary building here. Spinosaur coming at us. Hasn't been used. MP5. Oop. Hasn't been used. So is this a cliff over here? Yeah, it is actually a cliff. Oh, and it's the... This is a fancy looking spino. <laughs> Still closer to the JP spino than the current kind of scientific model of the spino. So we have an MP5. Probably not going to be enough to kill the Spino. Also, this is kind of, I think, based on where the aviary is in JP3. Because that's where they escaped the Spino to. I think the complexity of this tenth model, though, is actually tanking the frame rate in this area. Got a bone, got a Hasn't been TMP. Used. TMP with an extended mag. <laughs> but they do actually have the proper JP3 Spinosaur roar here. It's got kind of a nasally roar because of its long snout. Oh, hello. About 30. I don't think I've ever seen this gun before in Trespasser. It's got some real kick to it. Probably because you're not meant to fire it with one arm. It didn't play, but I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a cutscene there where you just, like, walk into a building. Anyway, that's, uh, that's Trespasser Arena. Like I said, not a lot to it yet. It's just kind of a pair of arenas, but the concept is pretty solid. And it mostly works. I do think you should teleport back, but I might have actually broken it by changing some of the settings. Because initially you still had to do the Control shift qw and load up T-Arena Hub here instead of just hitting new game. I just said it so that it would load that map when you hit new game, but that might have broken the cutscene somehow. Anyway, thanks for joining me for another Trespasser Custom. Like I said, I've got plenty more until the, uh, the Trespasser juice runs out and I have to recharge for a couple months again. But until then, you folks all take care. But, hold on, because after having recorded the video months ago, the rest of this video, a final version of Trespasser Arena was released in December, and no shade on the creator, but it's a little disappointing because he decided that he wanted to just have a map completed to his name, so he scaled back the initially ambitious idea, cut out the other arena, and cut out the hub, leaving it with just the raptor fight in the raptor pen and this main menu. So if we jump in here, it's very much the same as the one in the version I just looked at, but you know, this is the whole map now. It's just this one level, which is a shame because again, it was a very ambitious idea. And I hope somebody else takes up that sort of hub with different fights idea. Also, I'm pretty sure the knife still doesn't work in this final version, or isn't set to do damage. Because I could not get this thing to hurt raptors in this mode. 
I've tried just sticking it into him to try to find the pointy end, and nothing happened. I've tried throwing it at them, and this knife is just for decoration. Let's see if we can get the pistol up here. Looks like seven. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Like, it looks like a, a SIG-220, but it only has seven rounds. And it just sounds like one of the revolvers. That's it. I don't know if there's supposed to be a cutscene here. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it's a shame that he decided to cut back on it. But again, it was an ambitious idea, and it might have been too much for one person to tackle. But there's been some talk in the thread of maybe doing a similar project to this with multiple people contributing maps that are linked together by a hub. So that would be nice to see, because I know they had an arena contest back in the day, and that's where Drax Cursed Arena came from. But I don't know if they ever really compiled all that together. I think there wasn't a lot of entries for it or something, as far as I can tell. I mean, a lot of this is just me kind of inferring it from what people say on the threads when they're referring back to past events. Anyhow, that's Arena in its final state. Thank you for joining me, and hopefully I've got some more Trespasser lined up for you after this. Take care, y'all.